What's up students, Kevin Wagenmaker here, Director of Instructional Innovation at Mount Cone Community College. I want to take a few moments today to walk you through the process for using Turnitin if it's being required uh, in one of your courses. Uh, and so to do that, we're going to have to navigate to a Canvas course. So if you're not already in your Canvas course that you're going to be submitting for, you can go ahead and do that now. Uh, I'm using a test user, Marilyn Student is her name, uh, and we are in a test course here that will help you to better understand the process. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to submit a, a test assignment. Uh, so that it can go into the Turnitin software and be scanned using the Turnitin originality checker. Uh, so there's two parts to this. There's the submitting the assignment and then there is the viewing uh, our originality report and I'll show you both of those. The first thing we're going to do is find that uh, sample assignment. Uh, and So we're going to hop into uh, this first module here uh, and I have a Turnitin assignment set up. And I'm just going to go ahead and upload a test file. Now when it comes to Turnitin, there is a, a checkbox that you're going to have to check uh, to agree that, uh, that you're using Turnitin and that you're submitting that the work is original and not copied from another source. So check that box and then you'll have the option to submit the assignment. And once you have confirmation that your assignment has been submitted, you will see uh, in, the, in the doc viewer a sample of your assignment and you are good to go. Now we just wait on Turnitin to do its job. When it comes to viewing your Turnitin originality report, there's a couple different ways that you can get to the report, but I'm going to show you the recommended way to get to it. So from your course, you're going to go to your grades area. And it's going to give you a list of all the different grades for your courses. You're going to scroll down until you find the assignment that you just submitted. You can see we have a lot of them here, but I know that the one that I submitted is at the bottom. And you can see our Turnitin assignment is here. Uh, we can see the, the submission is here, but we also see this tag. And this is our originality report. The tag is colored based on the amount of matches within your Turnitin originality report. Clicking on the tag will open up the Turnitin feedback window. Turnitin scans your document against a repository of many different documents in the web, archived on the web, and also documents submitted within our institution. To really dive into your originality report, on the sidebar you can click on the different buttons and that will take you through the different hits that have, were found within your paper and also other options available for you. For a complete list of tools available within the Turnitin Originality Checker, you can check out this website right here and that will give you a better understanding of the Turnitin Originality Checker. As always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to the MCC Service Desk, servicedesk at montcalm.edu. Have a great day.